coffee. Thank you, Sita. Don't you ever stop working? I've got to get this ready for tomorrow. Cornelius, it's Sunday today. Is it? You should be out at the beach or something, having a good time with your friends. <laughs> I don't have friends and I've never really enjoyed what you call having a good time. Are you ever happy at all? I do find great satisfaction in my work. You know, I worry a lot about you. You shouldn't. I'm all right, really. For the past year that I've been in this house, all I've seen you do is work, work, work. I grew up that way. It's a habit with me now, and I guess. You keep us all going. Your mother, your father, me, my child. My mother and father did work very hard in their youth. I must now shoulder the major responsibilities. But you have no recreation, no release. Sita, you worry too much. I feel guilty too. Don't say that. But I do. You've been so good to me. I'd like to do something for you. Just be happy. But I'm not. Cornelius, please accept a gift from me. What? The three acres of land your father gave you? And the seaside resort as well? No, Sita. I told you before, you don't owe me anything. But I do. You've saved me. I have enough wealth. Keep what you have for yourself and your child. I've never felt so unwanted. Do I make you feel that way? You do. All my life, people, my friends, my parents, even your brother. Yes, even him treasured me. Followed me, but you, I'm just a duty that you do. You sound as though you hate me. I hate myself for having asked another human being to do so much for me, and then to be unable to give him anything in return. If it will make you happy for me to accept your gift, I will. No, no, Cornelius, I don't want it that way. I want it to mean something to you, not just to make me happy. I want it to mean something to you. Don't I mean anything to you, Cornelius? I, who have lived for more than a year in this house now, don't I mean anything to you? What do you want to do, woman? Conquer my heart before you leave next week? No, please, no. Haven't you been packing and haven't you got your tickets from your travel agent? Yes, but, oh, Cornelius. I'll miss you. You will? You've been a good companion. I'll miss you too. Very much. Take care of the baby you have. Yes. Get him into a good school. Feed him well. Let him play. Run, he must be strong. I want him to be just like you, but not to work so hard. And if there is anything you need while you're away, you just have to write or call. Let me know. I'll see what I can do right away. I know you will, Cornelius. I know you will. And be good to yourself. Don't get, get hurt anymore. I don't want to go. What? Won't you ask me to stay? Please, Cornelius. I'm afraid to be alone in a strange place. You've been my protector. I don't know how I can live without your protection. I'm sorry. I've already been such a burden. I shouldn't ask for any more. Will you love me as I love you? What? What did you say? Do you love me, I say? And would you be a wife to me now? I do love you, Cornelius. And I'll worship you. Stay then, and you and I will start together. Let's start now. Corn, Corn, I'm going to talk to you about this housing project that we can invest in. Not now, Pa, not now. We'll talk later. Okay, God, okay. I know you're going to invest in something else right now. Me back hot in. That woman walked on the back last night and nearly mashed up my spine. Somebody knocking at the door. Kausilia, see who knocking at the door? All right, all right. We have the call, so much input. There's a little child in the house now, you know. A letter? No, telegram. From who? Vishnu, he coming back. What? 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 When? Today. The big son coming back home today. Me heart hurting. You're not glad? I expected him to stay there for a long, long time. Doesn't it take many, many years and long, long here to become a saint? Now it's more on time, Chirkut. Didn't this happen fast? I see. Fast foods, quick snacks, shake and bake, sit and sit. I'm going to cook him something. You come on and go bring him from the airport. Cornelius and Sita. To married now with your own child. Fish no I have no part in the life. Shouldn't we tell them he's coming back? I go tell them. You come on and go bring him from the airport.
I'm sorry, Sita. I feel so unsure about you. I understand, Cornelius. It'll take time. I'll wait. Do you have to drink? You seem to drink a lot these days. I'd better get back to my work then. No, don't work today. Let's go for a drive. Come on. What is it? A telegram, it seems. Cornelius? I am trapped. No, Cornelius. I should have said no to you, my brother. I should have left this house, gone into my own. Are you afraid to face your brother? I'm leaving. You're not. I don't belong here. You do. This is your life. It is not. Everything here belongs to my brother. This house, this inheritance, you, the child, all are his. I want to belong to you. Leave with me then. Come on. No. Why? Do you want so much to see him? To be near him? It's not that, Cornelius. Oh, the old flame is there, I'm sure. Your heart will beat faster when you see him. I know. If my heart beats faster when I see him, it will be in anger and hatred for the pain he has caused me. There you see. Then we must leave. Why stay here when there's going to be anger and hatred? Tension and a burning fire consuming us all. I will not let you run away from the fruits of your sacrifice. The fruits of my sacrifice are ashes. They are not. You have a life that you fashioned, that you held together, while your brother was free to go and find his God. But I want no conflict, no confrontation. That's why I work so. You want to know? In work there is peace, weariness, toil, exhaustion. But peace where I act, not talk and think and feel sad or glad. I fear people and conversation and relationships. They are so complicated. You can't hide in work all your life. You can't live without people. I did it until I got involved with you and Vishnu and my father. And so many of your demands and desires. You can be free of me if you wish, Cornelius. Oh, certainly I can be free of you. Now that Vishnu is coming back, you would be glad to be free of me. You would always suspect me, wouldn't you? I should have remained with my work. I don't suspect numbers and figures, a drink, a shake hand, and that's that. It is I who should go. It would be better for everyone if I leave this house. You don't have to leave, Sita. I am the sin in this house. Don't call yourself a sin. I am the burden, the millstone, the cloud, the gloom, the complication. I try to help, Sita. You've done more for me than anyone else in this world. I must now help you by leaving this house. But where would you go? To my father. Just tell him you are there for a couple of days and a visit. I'll tell him everything. It should be easier for him to take now. Yes, it should be. Later on, we'll talk of our divorce. There's time enough to talk of that. Leave it for now. Goodbye then. I don't want to say goodbye. Not yet. I think though that what we are doing is the best thing under the circumstances. It pleases me so much to be of help to you.